Good morning, Facebook. I'm Naomi, and we are live here at Fresh Market Old Fort Bay, where we are fresh for the holidays, and we're going vegan for Thanksgiving. We have a very special edition of our fresh meals today, and we have invited, and she has genuinely gratefully accepted, Miss Bahama Foodie. Thank you for joining us. Whoa. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Welcome, ma'am. How are you? I am good. Happy holidays to you. It's Happy wonderful holidays. to see you again. Yeah, again. <laughs> I would like to know what it is that you are going to be sharing with us. I know that we're going vegan for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So what do you have in store for us today? So we have a balsamic Brussels sprouts yes. with brown sugar sweet potatoes. Oh my God. Yeah. Now you know I'm ready to taste this, yes. right? Now before we get into the meal, I just want Miss Bahama Foodie to let us know all of her social handles so you can know where to find her because she has some awesome things that you might be interested in getting in on. What do you have for us for the holidays? So I have a Thanksgiving meal. It's completely vegan and completely delicious. So okay? you're telling, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me that I, because what I would like to do is maybe start my New Year's resolution early and venture into the vegan lifestyle mm -hmm. for the holidays. Mm -hmm. What are you going to give me to eat? We have a lentil loaf. A, le a what happened? A lentil loaf. Lentil it's loaf. It's made out of lentils. Okay. 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 With a, bo a bunch of herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. So I'm not going to miss any of the flavor. It's not dull. We don't do dull over here. Okay, great. Nothing bland over here. Okay? I might be ready. Okay. I'm not going to promise, but I might be. <laughs> so we have a lentil loaf. We have stuffing. Okay. You have to have stuffing. You know okay. that. Yes. We have a vegan macaroni. Oh my God. Vegan macaroni. Are you for real? I'm, I'm serious. There's also a gluten-free option. What do you put in a vegan macaroni? It's top secret. Okay. Hmm. It's top secret. But let's just say you have to order to find out. <laughs> okay. Right? Then. Okay. All right. All right. Um, it's ve it's completely vegan, dairy free, no eggs. No egg. No cheese. Wait. You said Bahamian vegan macaroni. I said Bahamian. I didn't say mac and cheese. I say Bahamian macaroni, not mac and cheese. Wow. Yes. I might have to just order that as a side dish. Yeah. Let so me know. that's what you do. You call you do catering for the holidays yes. as well. Okay. Yes. Great. So it's a vegan macaroni, absolutely delicious. And let me just say this, it's made, the cheese sauce that we make is probably, you probably can find some of those ingredients in your fridge right now. It's staple, it's really stapled ingredients. Yes. Wow. Okay. And then okay. we have sauteed greens because you need greens in the plate. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just much more than we have a cinnamon roll that comes with it. Okay. Completely vegan. Okay. Okay. Cinnamon roll. A cinnamon roll. Okay. And then we have a choice of lemonade nice yes okay and so we can get this how you can go my whole vegan restaurant is online it's a digital restaurant you can go to www.hellobahamafoodie.com or just hit me up on instagram it's underscore bahama foodie awesome yes all right are we ready to get into the meal yes we are let's get started what are you gonna do first so i have already went ahead and prepped okay so mm -hmm. we don't have to be here all day okay so just want to start <laughs> y'all know bohemian cooking starts off with these two. If you don't have these, if I don't see these two, then it's a problem. I look scared. We got to go back. I look scared, you know? <laughs> so we're just going to cut this up. We don't need a lot. Okay. But my Brussels sprouts are already cut in half. Mm -hmm. They're already washed and they're already clean. The, the tri bell peppers are already cut. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the seasonings so that we're going to use. Guys. She cut up her pepper. So this is great for, for prepping for the actual week. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it every night so you just cut it up and they mm -hmm. they stay fresher that way so we get all these fresh vegetables and fruit in our produce department right here at fresh market every day we stock them freshly mm -hmm. and so now she's cutting up the onion let's mm -hmm. watch how how she does this with yeah her we're gonna cut up the onions okay typically i use yellow onions okay. y'all know we love yellow onions yes yeah i use the red onions more so for fresh fruits like okay. salads etc etc but you know what? This white onion was calling to me here at Fresh Market. It was, you guys had some fresh onions. Tell you me the difference in, in it. Like you say you prefer the yellow. I think it's do... just a little bit more potent for me. It's more preference because I was raised uh -huh. using okay. it, right? But I will say that when it comes to fresh foods like salad, you're going to find me gravitating more towards the red one. One for color. Okay. Two, because the, the flavor is very intense. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, but for cooking... White is fine. Okay. My preference is just yellow. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to quickly cut this up. I'm using a very sharp knife. 
I don't want it to be super perfect because it's going to fry out. I just want the flavor, okay? Okay. So we're going to use about this much. Really big cuts. I cook for the regular mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In a rush. <laughs> the one that's not necessarily looking for all the perfectionism. But of course, we got to make the food look good. Okay. Okay? But we need it quick. And we need it flavorful. Alrighty. Okay? So really quickly, I cut up like, uh, I would say a portion of a quarter of an onion. And I'm going to get three cloves of garlic. Okay? These, this is like a medium-sized garlic. This is a small one, and this is a medium-sized okay. clove as well, okay? Now, when it comes to garlic, it's based on preference. Some people really like garlicky food. I like a balance, okay. right? I don't want to taste overwhelming garlic. I can't taste the onions. I can't taste the parsley. I can't mm -hmm. taste the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Because brown sugar adds such a depth to flavor mm. that I absolutely... Is it a little bit like how tomato does to a dish as well? Yes. Yes, right? It just came to me. I don't know. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just going to mash these right. really quickly here. Quickly. Now I'll say this: You may be really fancy, and you may have one of those garlic crushers. Oh. Please use it for real. No, for real. Use it, okay? If it's for Thanksgiving, you don't have time <laughs> to be out here doing this, okay? <laughs> you probably have to feed your kids. Someone is waiting on their food. You can just do that, okay? We're just going to take all the wrappings off of it, and I think crushing them, crushing. If you have the crusher, it makes it easier. But crushing them like I did just now with the knife um, helps to really make the skin come off a little bit easier, okay? So, we're just taking these off, three cloves, taking all the skin off, and we're going to empty them in the garbage so our station isn't super messy. And then we're going to bring them together and we're just going to slice and dice, slice and dice. Like yeah, I, say, I think I would like the crusher in that instance. A crusher, yeah, a crusher. Crusher helps. You're trying to get it as fine as possible. Okay. I do believe we sell them at Fresh Market. I do. We have a little area over there where you get some utensils and you can just put it in there and crush it. Yeah. So, guys, I'm here. We are here. And we are fresh for the holidays at Fresh Market Old Fort Bay. But I wanted to just remind you about something. We do have our holiday book out, the, the long-awaited amazing holiday book that tells you about all of our gourmet foods that we do have in, in the store for sale. We have some new items. I see some of our candies and our cookies coming out for the holidays, so we're really excited about that. But I wanted to remind you that you do get loyalty coupons. Hi, loyalty members. Those of you who haven't joined up for the amazing loyalty program that we do have in the store, you need to get it. You can shop at all of our Solomon's brands as well as Exuma Markets, Lukaya, and even our store that's coming online very shortly. So you get your coupons every week. You will see them in the mail. You'll see them on your email. If you signed up for marketing, when you sign up for your loyalty program, you can get them in the mail. But guess what? You don't have to do anything but come into the store, grab the item off the shelf, and when you go to check out, that discount is applied to your account so you will get it no matter what so you don't have to worry about clipping you don't have to worry about printing you don't even have to show it to the cashier all you have to do is remember the item when you go shopping grab it go to the cashier and when you scan it this smells so good i'm sorry that was a distraction <laughs> it smells delicious but when you go to the cashier when they swipe it the discount will be applied to you and you are racking up points if you haven't redeemed your points yet listen i'm saving my points i have about four hundred dollars of wow. points that i have saved for the entire time that we have had the program and i'm gonna buy me something extra special over there at super center for my house and i'm so excited so you can redeem it for a chocolate you can redeem it for whatever you want but make sure that when you go to the cashier you give them your loyalty card or you can even give them your birth date. They can find it for you and you will be able to gain points on every dollar you spend. Get into the store and she's getting ready to go to the next stage. What are you doing now? So I just added some olive oil to my cast iron pan. Yes. Okay. I absolutely love fuel days or um, olive oil. <laughs> I only cook with olive oil even for my clients. Okay, good. Yeah. I do that too. Yeah. That or butter if I don't have it. Yes, but of course vegan butter for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I find that olive oil is just, especially the cold press, it's just much more healthy. 
and I try to provide an anti-inflammatory diet as well, right? Okay. So a lot of persons that are very sensitive to uh -huh. certain oils, canola okay. and all uh -huh. the other things. And so olive oil is best and I'm happy that I can find it under your brand. That's awesome. Here at Fresh Market. Tell me something. I want to know the difference between a vegan diet and a regular diet. So a vegan diet, I, I like to call them, I um, really consider myself plant-based. Okay. Because vegan, vegan is more a lifestyle as it relates to values. Okay. Um, clothes. Um, belts, okay. shoes. It's just it's not just about food type, right? Okay. A plant based diet is more about food type. Okay. Okay. So my my reason for switching to a plant based lifestyle was because of health issues. Mm. I was dealing with chronic inflammation. Okay. And so as a result, I changed my diet where I eat predominantly plant powered food, food that are derived from plants. But a vegan lifestyle is different. Their value system are based on sustainability as it relates to animals. Okay. Um, and a whole other plethora of different things. Okay, mm -hmm. I have not gone that deep. Okay, and I try not to, try to be integral about my approach. Right. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's more about health mm -hmm. than necessarily. I, I, I appreciate the animals, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I, I won't lie and make it seem as if that was my reason. Right. Because okay? then I wouldn't be wearing certain shoes there you and go. certain clothes okay. and stuff like that. For me, it was more health. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So the pans are heating up. All right. And I'm just going to pull this over here. Let me just turn this down a little bit because it's getting hot really quickly. And we know that olive oil gets hot really quickly. Now, oh my goodness. I can smell this amazing food already before it starts in the pan. But I'm, we have all these amazing items right here at Fresh Market. So we have the fresh produce. We got the field day products. Guys, we got sugar and seasonings for field day. Now, go right ahead. Typically, now. there are many ways you can do this. Excuse me a little bit. There are many ways you can do this. You can actually roast these. I love this style yeah. of, of um, Brussels sprouts because when I was little, my mommy used to cook them and no way. Yeah. Don't boil them. People, yeah. I personally like the crisp, mm -hmm. right? Um, but a lot of people roast their Brussels sprouts. Uh -huh. But we're kind of showing you how to do it on the stove top even quicker. Yes. Okay. And I the don't cast know. iron just gives it that depth it does. of texture and everything else. Yeah. So I did not add anything to this for a reason. Okay. Okay. Because I'm going to add an infused flavor with the garlic and the onions okay. after it reaches to a certain point. Okay. 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 So I'm adding this in here. These are going to cook really quickly. So I'm going to ask you to just toss me your sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes cook relatively quickly, but I find that the Brussels will cook so okay. I just want to dash a few of these. Oh my goodness. Look at them brightening up in the pan though. I know, right? Mm. I'm not going to use all of them. Just a few. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And guess what? It's healthy. Mm -hmm. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't, this is good carbs. Okay. This is okay. Good carbs, right? Okay. Look at that. Exactly. We just check. This is good comfort food. Yeah. Like right now, it would be perfect to eat some of this. Yeah. I'm excited that we're having this meal today, guys. I'm Naomi. You didn't like and share. So go ahead, like and share. Let your family know that we are going vegan for Thanksgiving. We are live here at Fresh Market Old Fort Bay, where we have Bahama Foodie right here in the house with us. We are so thankful to have her with us, and she is sharing with us her Thanksgiving side dish which is all vegan and all we're excited vegan. about that you can find all these items right here in fresh market old Fort bay and fresh market harbor bay as well but we want to also remind you that we do have taco tuesday we do have pasta friday and i might be having turkey thursdays coming up soon oh we have the best turkey so what's going on next Bahama foodie. Okay, so they are caramelizing. You see the colors already changing? Yes. Good. Oh, yeah. And you see this. Like, let me, I'm, I'm just going to use olive oil because we want to keep it fresh. Okay. For the holidays. Okay. But <laughs> you wanted to cheat a little bit. Yes, just a little bit. You could add butter. Okay. You could I add might some get, butter. I might add some butter. Yeah. For me. Okay. <laughs> so um, tell me what, what would be involved in the vegan butter? The vegan butter? So mm -hmm. it's just the absence of anything animal derived. So would that be ghee? No. No. No, they use ah, different types man. of oil. Some people use olive oil, some people use coconut oil. Okay, so, so just brands. the oils. Yeah, there. just the oils. Almond oil, yeah. avocado oil. Yeah. It okay, could get then. it could depending on what your lifestyle is and uh -huh. your diet demands, it could, could get pricey or it could, could stay really simple. I try to stay away from the canola and the vegetable oil mm -hmm. as much. Mm -hmm. 
So I lean to more olive oil based butters, coconut oil, okay. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But it really depends on your needs. Yeah, alrighty. I didn't know that. That yeah. is so cool. I mean, this is great for the for our community to know as well, because people might have been wanting to go vegan and didn't really understand it, and yeah. they were all about the the saving the animals thing, and yeah. this is about another way for them to even do a lifestyle change for yeah. Christmas, I you mean, know, we want something to, for the animals. We want to adopt a lifestyle that we believe in, right? Right. And that's the only way we're going to be able to sustain it, and we want to adopt a lifestyle that's beneficial to us. Yeah. And so, just... Saying I'm vegan mm -hmm. without understanding it, and you're loud and you're talking about it, right. that's not necessarily the values. Not at all. Exactly. So for me, it's plant based. My food is predominantly plant based, and it has helped my whole life mentally, wow. emotionally, physically. I feel have more energy. Wow. And um, this was the way I healed my body. For someone else, it could be a walk, meditation, it mm -hmm. could be all kind of different things, right? This is what I use, and it has brought tremendous benefit to my life. And now there are so many Bahamians that now have been eating for the past month since I launched, eating vegan food three days a week, and they're like, I can't believe that was vegan. Wow. Yeah. This is, okay, this is definitely something you might want to explore. We do have vegan items in our store. So yeah. if you are vegan, welcome. And if you would like to be vegan, get in on the journey and make sure we get you on to what is your handles again bahama foodie underscore bahama foodie on instagram and bahama foodie on facebook there you have it guys mm -hmm. check out miss bahama foodie and you will enjoy a vegan lifestyle if it's for a little bit just introducing it or you might want to go ahead and live it mm -hmm. but you can do it it's possible it is i it's know one thing about the bahamian culture the food is what I have fallen in love with yeah, like yeah. every single dish mm -hmm. and you can just put your own twist on it yes. but it's always the flavor for me yeah so, I love our food it's amazing it's like we have the best food we do we do like Caribbean and Caribbeans in general but Seriously. I just love our food right? it, it's amazing and I, I love, love the it. creativity of our food mm -hmm. I love that even stew like mm -hmm. who would have think you have to burn the flour okay then like someone had to burn the flour exactly yeah someone uh, had to burn the flour for them to realize and i'm that. all about burning food <laughs> <laughs> we call it smoke yes you know a little smoke. yes so these are crisping up real good so this is a really good time for me to add in my herbs okay okay we just put this right here and even though you're cooking it fast you could you could feel the love in the in the food because yeah. You do have to wait for it to get to a certain point yeah. for it to be able to in, enhance all of the flavor of yeah. the dish. You know, you don't oh. want it too oily. Yeah. You don't want to drown everything out. Mm -hmm. You want to put enough. And you don't want, like, the onions to be burnt. You want no. them to be caramelized. So yes. I want it more so the brussels to begin that process. But like I say, someone else can cook this completely different mm -hmm. and come out with the same result, right? Okay. But okay. I'm more so for the girls who are in and out of the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have a lot of time, mm -hmm. but you want to make it equally delicious. This is it. The crisping up so good. Just going to add a tiny bit more olive oil just a little bit more and the good thing about using oil is you don't have to feel a little this type of oil yeah and this brand it's organic you don't have to feel bad you don't have about feeling a little bit more yeah it smells so good it smells amazing guys so like i said i'm back for a minute i'm naomi we're live here at fresh wheels Old Fort Bay and Miss Bahama Foodie is here with us and she's cooking a vegan dish for our Thanksgiving meal. Listen, we have some exciting things that's happening in Fresh Market this holiday season. So we are inviting you to join us in another two weeks. We're going to have Chef Leo. He's going to be back with us guys and he's going to be doing a promotion. It's also going to be another chef with us at Harbor Bay as well. But Old Fort Bay and Harbor Bay, you will have the opportunity when you shop in our stores and you spend some money, right? I'm not going to tell you because we're not going to release all of the details right now. When you spend a certain amount of money, you will go to the cashier. You will be automatically entered to win. Are you ready? 
you will be entered to win a private hello it's a prize I'm not gonna tell you but it's exciting okay but I gave you a clue let me see if any of you are actually paying attention to these episodes and type into the comments what you think you're gonna win what you think you're gonna answer to win so stay tuned we're gonna be doing some great things for fresh meals on the holidays like and share and tell your friend we'll see you again in a minute <laughs> oh my gosh listen I can eat that right now out of the pan I'm ready so now we can add our seasoning okay right? I think one of the okay. things that we often do is over season. Yes. Right? Or we, I do we season that. so early that we gotta season again. Because by the time it's already look. cooked out. Yeah. So it's almost like wine. It takes out if you yeah. cook it too mm -hmm. early, it'll take out the alcohol. Mm -hmm. But do you see the, the caramelization the of the sweet potatoes? It's caramelizing really well. Yes. Okay. So we have some seasonings over here that I found in Fresh Market. Okay. And I'm just gonna ask for your help, Naomi, in grabbing them. So, which one do you want? Let's start off with, we have the salt. Let's start with salt. And this is sea, sea salt. salt. Okay, this is sea salt. Right? So, I heard, tell me how do, how do we season the sea salt? Like, like how do we, the sea difference between regular salt and sea salt? I find, personally, that sea salt has a lower sodium level okay. than the regular um, I iodine. iodine. Yeah, although we need iodine. Right? Okay, okay. That's important to your body's function. Right? Okay. So I'm not against it. Okay. But I find that it has so persons who have hypertension okay. or are on a specific diet and you don't need so much sodium, right? Or you don't want to use the mix like Lori seasoning uh -huh. or season all okay. complete seasoning. You can really start to okay. this with a base, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna use this. It's open. And we're just gonna shake. And I, I read this meme that says, shake until your ancestors stop you. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the ancestors have stopped. <laughs> well, for me, it's not my ancestors, but shake until I make my Grammy proud. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, right? Because the salt isn't the flavor. Okay. The Brussels sprout has its own flavor. Okay. Salt isn't the flavor, but you can add different flavors to it, right? So I'm mm. going to ask you to add, add um Show me the garlic powder. The garlic powder is right here. Yes. So this is the Badia brand. But what I love about coming here, because I shop the Fresh Market, of mm -hmm. course, because mm -hmm. of the vegan options, mm -hmm. is that there is a diversity of brands. Mm -hmm. So although the field day is here, there's also brands yes. that are very um, cost effective. Yes. Like this one. Yes. Right. And it's if you're live if you are not a mommy or you don't have a lot of people in your house mm -hmm. like me. Then this size is also really great. Yes, yeah. it is. If we could only open it. If we could only, okay, you know what? I got it, Naomi. Okay, good. Right, it's your turn now to prove your strength. <laughs> so we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of this because we added some fresh garlic already. We're going to cover it up. I think I have some paprika there. Yes, simply organic. We got some hot paprika, so this probably carries a little really? bit of spice. Really? Hot paprika? I didn't even yeah. know we had that. Yes, hot paprika. So once again, we are fighting with the labels. <laughs> it's open. That one was easy. I got mine open. You got, you got it open. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Give it up for Naomi getting it open. <laughs> this is hilarious. Got some paprika here. So guys, this is organic seasonings that we're you're dealing with right here. Yeah. So it's going to actually add more health to your dish. Yeah. And you know what I love about this too? Like the color of that paprika is also giving to the Brussels sprouts. Right? You yeah. don't want to just roast vegetables and salt black pepper alone. You want to, you know, yes. we're Bahamians. We got to... We got to take it up the that The world makes just do salt and black pepper. But not it's just, us. We, it's not us. We <laughs> extra. We got to do more. We got to do more. So... This is the time, I think. What is this? This is the time. Wait, yeah. is it? Which I one can't is see it? the thing. Oh, this is the lemon herb seasoning. Now, okay. there's so many ways you can cook Brussels, and this is not what I'm doing here today. But I want you to know that you can do a lemon butter Brussels sprout with Parmesan. Wait, say that again. Lemon, lemon butter, butter Brussels with Parmesan. Okay. That sounds amazing. Yes. Lemon butter Brussels with Parmesan. 
I got it open. You got it open. So we're just going to add this. Not too much because it already has its flavor. Lemon. Oh um, my goodness. I can I can just imagine the flavor. And now I'm adding these sweet potatoes to the party. So this dish, I, I forgot what the name of this dish is. What is the name of it? This is a balsamic russel. We haven't even added the balsamic Balsam yet. Oh my God. All right. Guys, balsamic Brussels sprouts right here at Fresh Market with Miss Bahama Foodie. Oh, it smells so good. I am blown away right now. So there is, there would be rice in, in your diet? No rice. Okay. Well, for me, the Thanksgiving meal or you yes. mean regularly? In your regularly. Oh yeah, rice. I'm a vegan. Okay. What do you mean, Naomi? Well, okay, the do you want to... okay, the vegan girl, are we going to eat the rice? Rice is a green. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Couscous? Yeah. Yes. Quinoa. Okay. Quinoa. Yeah. Okay, then. Cauliflower rice. Language. Cauliflower rice. Yeah. So we could add this along with it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to eat now. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. Mushrooms and all that great stuff. Did mm -hmm. you need the thyme? Yeah. Okay, here you go. It's Just ready for you. It's going to shake a tiny bit. It's time. You know thyme has its own flavor. And sometimes you can't find the fresh ones, so the dry ones. Oh, yes. You can use. Please, please say that for my husband, because <laughs> have mercy. I'm but like, you know, really? Bahamian <laughs> man, they love the, the, the thyme got to be fresh. But yeah. I, like, I like the sticks of the thyme. I like the fresh part of the thyme. So let me, let me, let me not say that. I yeah. like it as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because, mm -hmm. but having this, you can see that it's not processed as much. Yeah, so we're just going to shake a little bit of the onion powder on there. And then we have the balsamic. You can pass me the balsamic. Yes. And we're just going to drizzle. If you were putting this in a pan, uh -huh. you would just drizzle. You could, dri you could drizzle on before mm -hmm. or at this point. I'm not putting a whole lot, so I'm doing it at this point. Have mercy. Yeah. You know, a little razzle dazzle. I love the balsamic. Yeah. Delish. Get that flavor in there. Yeah. But now it's looking roasted. Oh, Easy. yes, it is. Okay, okay. This is the beauty of the cast iron. Mm. You know, the cast iron is like a whole oven. It's like an oven, right? On the top of the stove. Yeah. This is why I personally love because typically this is done in an oven. Mm -hmm. But if you use the right pan or the right pot, you get the same effect. Okay? So I just need a spoon so I can taste. You because have you have to taste here. to make sure. There you go. You know, so just, you have to love your way through. Guys, we are going vegan for Thanksgiving. And Miss Bahamas, foodie, mm -hmm. she's going ahead and tasted this amazing dish. Mm -hmm. She's getting it ready for me because she knows. Miss Bahama, girl, thank you. My camera girl, don't tell me. Get it together, Naomi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so she is cooking up this amazing vegan dish. And it is balsamic. Mm. Like my mouth is watering while I'm talking. Balsamic roasted Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. with some amazing um, sweet potato. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You need to try it. Like and share. You have to try it. So you're adding, so we're you see you're loving adding. it up with the rest of the seasonings yes, that you have. Yes, we're loving it up. We're going to add a little bit more balsam. This is mm. the power of tasting. Do not just... I mean, if you're really, like, really good at I it. I used to be like that before. I was afraid to taste it, yeah. but then afraid to fail at the end, which yeah. was really, that don't make no kind of sense. Can you pass, <laughs> you can now pass me the bell peppers. Yeah. I'm ready for my food. You're ready. I'm going to turn ready. it low now. It's already done. Look at the color of these vegetables, yeah. guys. Fresh, you want to add a little, crispy vegetables. Yeah. You don't want them to fry out. You want to taste it, right? It's fresh. Okay. We're doing fresh for the holidays. Fresh So for the we holidays. can't cook every, everything. And I chopped them really big because I wanted it to be seen. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a little bit more red. Yeah, give it a fall type of vibe. And the last thing we're going to do is the add a little bit so of brown beautiful. sugar. 
Oh, you can use this one. That's from fine. the field they brand. I mean, it's so diverse. It even has sugar, right? Sugar, flour, coconut sugar. Coconut sugar. Whatever kind of sugar you want. Now, if you have a, a measuring spoon, use a measuring spoon. But as for me and my house, we're going to do this for now. Just so we won't have to disrupt it. And we're going to do a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And we're going to sprinkle it on. And this is going to help to caramelize it even more. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. I am trying to imagine what this is going to taste like because you put in seasonings from every spectrum there. You got the sweet, you got the savory, you got the salty. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. This is her secret, guys. When you take your time with it because you want people to enjoy it, right? Wow. You don't want to rush it. We, we haven't, this doesn't take, this doesn't take a long time, but. So how long did it take you to start your venture? Like as far as being, sharing it with the rest of the world? Pan uh, the pandemic. Okay. Like I think um, COVID showed us that we can do more. Mm -hmm. And I had been meatless already. Um, I already transitioned over to a plant-based diet. And I would just post on WhatsApp like my food and people would be like, oh my God, like this is vegan, like this is plant-based. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh my goodness. Um, you need to like you need to cook this. I didn't cook it right away for mm -hmm. for public consumption. Right. But I said, you know what, I'm home during the mm -hmm. pandemic. Let mm -hmm. me just create a page. Right. I created the page and people just began to flock to it. Wow. So I'm like and I think the pandemic made it easier too because they saw the need for help. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Excellent. We're gonna give it a taste again. Over here. I'm gonna do this. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Mm. Oh. Mm. Guys, we're going vegan for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I'm Bahama Foodie. She's here with us and she's mm -hmm. cooking. She's cooking a vegan Thanksgiving side dish and it's amazing. It's Brussels sprouts, it's sweet potato, it's fresh herbs, it's fresh onions, it's fresh just Oh, I cannot wait to eat it. Okay, so guys, like and share. Make sure you tune in with us in the next two weeks. We're going to have another side of the holidays as well. And stay tuned. Look for our holiday books. If you haven't signed up for your loyalty, get your loyalty points on and popping because it will pay off. I mean, who doesn't need an extra dollar? I do. Who yeah. doesn't need an extra two? So do you, okay? Yeah. So get in on the holidays. If you if you want to do something for a friend, tell them to go to any of us Solomon's locations and sign up for your loyalty programs. Guys, we've expended our SKUs for all of our house brands as well. So you will be able to have a probably all the way organic, all the way fresh holiday season for you and your family to eat and live better. Yeah. So we're almost done. We're almost done. Like in oh a minute, we're done. And you get to eat. So while it's doing, I turned it low. I'm just going to start cutting up some grape tomatoes. Listen, so I, used, I used to think that they did not even taste good. Yeah. But I went over in the, in the produce department one time. Mm -hmm. And I just tasted mm -hmm. the grape tomatoes, the low cherry tomatoes. Oh, they have such an amazing flavor. It's almost like a fruit, yeah. vegetable type of thing. So and it's good it, for you. And it adds such a good freshness, like yeah. along with the parsley. Mm -hmm. It adds such a good freshness to the plate. And that's what we're all about, too. So we're just going to cut a few of these in there. Persons who don't like tomatoes, that's fine. You can use something else. You can use walnuts, like candied walnuts okay. or pecan as a replacement. Okay. That's really good as well. Nice. Okay, and then I'm going to ask you to pass, pass me the parsley. There you go. I'm take a few branches. So when it's all done, you can just take it all out and eat it. But look, we're almost done. We are almost done. Okay. Oh, And this boy. is a complete vegan meal. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to do this. Look at this holiday colors. The red and green are just popping together. I like know, that. right? The mm -hmm. holiday vibe. It's giving, <laughs> it's giving Christmas. It's giving Christmas. 
Happy holidays. And this would pair good, like if you're not plant-based, mm -hmm. like a nice roasted chicken. I would I would do that like yeah. for breakfast. Yeah, like a Throw nice... Throw some egg on top of it. Yeah, like a nice roasted... This is me being unvegan. <laughs> I'm open to that so people are like oh do you yeah like if you if you like me that would taste so good like a, like an egg and you don't and you let it just be like like sunny side up yeah oh i'm ready exactly so now this we're is gonna delicious. do our final taste to make sure we need nothing else okay guys she's getting it ready for me okay so good. I will taste it. All right, it's done. It's done. Done. Wow. Done. Okay. Mm. So I like these bowls. Okay. So I'm going to put the whole thing in this bowl. And then we can serve you out of it. What I love about this is I get the savory from the balsamic, mm -hmm. the sweetness from the brown sugar and the sweet potatoes. Mm hmm The freshness. Yes, it's all about the freshness. Yes, we got that. Oh. <sighs> and guess what? Like 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 I said, you can you can make some add chickpeas to this. Okay. More protein. Okay. If you're not plant-based, you could add a nice piece of chicken breast, mm -hmm. and this would be great for meal prep for two to three days. Ooh, you could put some beef strips on top of that, too. Exactly. You could throw some salmon on it as well. And all the flavors in the pan. Do you see that? Like, mm. if you add a little bit of water, because mm -hmm. you don't want to waste anything, you yes. add a little bit of water, and it would be absolutely delicious. I'm going to bring it right over here. Oh. Oh. And we're going to take, oh, actually, we could use the knife. Take the, these and just put them in. Look yes, how pretty the colors. Yes, Look at the colors. It's so pretty. Yes, right. sir. You can take this one for me. Yes. Look at the colors. Yes. It's giving Thanksgiving. It right? is. Right? It's giving, it's giving Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's giving Thanksgiving for sure. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Bahamas. Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> and then you could just take the parsley. Cut up over here, and you go happy with it. There we go. The freshness of the parsley and the tomato is just, it's going to do its thing. And that's the final look. We clean this up our station. Let's put this out there for you. Yum, yum, and yum. All in two pots, but you could do it all in one. Oh, you could have did it all in one. In one. Okay. And that's it. And then we're going to take up some for you to taste. Mm hmm Okay. And you can, you have to tell the truth. I will. I will. You have to I tell will. the truth. Okay. Bahamas, you know I'm going to tell you the truth, right? Yeah. You have we to ready? tell the truth. Okay. So your plate. I'm just going to put it here. Okay. That's fine. So that's okay. So guys, this has been another great edition of our holiday festive season starting with Bahama Foodie. She's been with us live here at Fresh Market Old Food Bay, and I'm getting ready to taste our vegan Thanksgiving delicious meal. Now, I'm going to tell you that I was a little skeptical. However, watching the whole process, it has made my heart glad. <laughs> so, I'm going to get it. I'm going to taste it. And I will let you know exactly. See, she won already because these are like Brussels sprouts. And Brussels sprouts, I really do like. But I want to get a piece of the um, thing as well. What do you call it? The sweet potato. Sweet potato. Hold on. Girl, you too wrong. You wrong for that. <laughs> That's good. Guys, it's very tasty. Mm. Oh, let me taste this one. Mmm. Girl, mm. -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I gotta eat some more. This is really good, guys. You need to get in here. Mm. Hold on a minute, moment. This has been another great edition of Fresh Meals 
with Bahama Foodie. You need to get this dish. You need to go on her site, click all around, and order this for Thanksgiving, okay? Thank you for joining us. Like and share. And please say goodbye to our wonderful guest, Miss Bahama Foodie. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining me. us. Thank you for coming. You, I'm going to eat this entire plate. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Bye, Facebook. <laughs>